Todd with Pacific Northwest Bushcraft. So today I'm going to take you on a tour of the PNW Bushcraft camp. We um, first acquired the property. One of the things I wanted to do was uh, establish it as a forestry property uh, and practice silver culture with all the trees that we had on the property. One of the requirements for the thesis that I had was that I had to rem remove all the small trees that were competing for the larger trees. It was labor intensive and once we got all the trees cleared out I was stuck with about 30 to 40 of the smaller poles and uh, they're a little too small for firewood so this is the lower half of the property and we weren't utilizing at the time. One of the things here in the Pacific Northwest is having to come up with a um, dry place to do stuff. So I came up with an idea after doing a lot of research from early Native American in the area um, homes to uh, Russian Sami homes which are the yurts. Um, I kind of came up with this design for w w our camp by utilizing all those poles. Um, and I wanted some place that was where we could have a large group of people maybe share skills or something and have a warm fire that would heat it central um, inside the structure. That way we would have a gathering place for everybody to um, feel comfortable, exchange ideas, don't have to worry about the weather. And as you'll see as I take you through the tour, um, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, labor and work that's gone into it. It's always evolving, always uh, growing um, little tweaks here and there on what kind of structure uh, I wanted to end up uh, in fact right now we're getting ready to add on a kitchen section that was the one downfall that I found was by having um, the kitchen located in there by kitchen I mean uh, cooking area people cooking uh, preparing food and stuff um, it became pretty crowded and then having to move back and forth and then people moving around where the fire pit was it, it, it's just going to be better with a bigger uh, area for the kitchen. With people moving back and forth, there's a lot of dust being stirred up, smoke, hard to keep the kitchen clean, and and uh, people are constantly having to move around. Um, but it was nice for to sit around the fire and eat. So, so follow me, and and uh, I'll give you a, a two cent tour of the property along with the uh, bushcraft camp. <laughs> 